Hi, I'm Hilary and welcome to Adept English and the third day of our seven day course, The Seven Rules of Adept English. You're probably getting used to the format by now. Every day you get an email and there will be a video link to a video like this one, an MP3 file so that you can download and a PDF file so that you've got the words. So just to recap on the first two rules of Adept English, do you remember them? Rule number one says understanding first. So the way to become fluent is to massively improve your understanding of spoken English. And how do you do this? Well, you do it by listening. And listening to English that you can understand. So rule one says listening is the most important thing. Rule two is to practice by repeating that listening so that your understanding becomes much more automatic and so that you begin to think in English and it takes you away from translating. So rule two tells you repeat your listening, practice. Today we're going to talk about rule three. Now, do you remember yesterday when I asked you to do a piece of homework for me? I asked you to listen to the recording of rule two five times. Did you do it? If yes, excellent. Hopefully you're beginning to learn some of the benefits of this way of learning English. If not, oh dear, but I forgive you. I think I may understand why you didn't do it. You would probably say to me that you didn't have enough time. There wasn't enough time in your day to do five times listening to rule two. Now, I talked to you in rule one and rule two about why people don't succeed in their English language learning because traditional language teaching doesn't focus enough on listening and understanding. But another really common reason why people don't succeed in learning English, they can't find the time. Even with Adept English, doing the listening and the repeat listening, it does take quite a bit of time. And if you're really busy and it's hard to find the time, you're probably not going to do it. So people don't succeed at all kinds of things because of the difficulty finding time. I've talked before about how my son does swimming lessons and how in January it's difficult to park outside my swimming pool because so many people have joined the gym which is in the same building. They join at the start of the year, it's January and they want to get fit and be healthy. But by the first week of February, the parking is easy again, plenty of space. What's the reason for this? Well, it's because most people have already given up the gym. They've stopped. It's too difficult to find the time to keep going. So they start off full of good intention, but they don't stick at it. Stick at it is an idiom which means keep on doing it. So one of the main reasons why people fail in their language learning, they start but then they stop because they can't find the time. Again, this is where Adept English is better than other ways of learning. You can do your English language learning while you're doing other things. You don't need to put aside time for your lessons. You don't need to travel anywhere to do your lessons. You don't need to go to a weekly course. You can download our MP3 files onto your mobile phone or your tablet. With Bluetooth, you can perhaps play it through your car stereo. Or if you're on the bus or the train, you can put in your earphones and listen. You can do it when you're walking, running, cycling. 
You can use Adept English to practice anywhere. You can listen when you're doing the laundry, cleaning your flat, walking, jogging, gardening, decorating, whatever it is that you're busy with. The possibilities are endless. It means you don't have to go to a weekly class. You just fit it around your normal schedule, around what you already do. You might do it when you're doing the boring jobs, things which don't require all of your brain. You might even find you look forward to doing the boring jobs because it's pleasurable to find yourself improving at your English language. And the fact that you can learn when you're doing different things means that you have a much better chance of sticking at it and continuing with your learning. If you listen to 30 minutes of spoken English every day, how much better will you be after three months or six months or a year even? Even this way, it takes effort to learn a language. You do have to work at it, but it doesn't need to take years to improve. I've said to you before, I'm learning French. I'm like you. I'm very busy. I have my own practice, three children, a partner, a house, two cats, friends and family, my other interests and Adept English on the top. I make time in my schedule to listen to my French in the car. When I work in London on a Monday, I use the train and the underground and I listen then. And I listen when I'm doing the cooking. So tonight I'll be making pizza and I'll be listening to my French. So if you make Adept English your habit, part of your schedule, something you do every week, it doesn't need to take up any of your precious spare time. You make Adept English listening part of your routine. You just fit it in with what you already do. How good is that? Why not have a look at your schedule, your routine for the week, what you do every day, and decide what activities mean that you could be doing your English language alongside. Where will you fit it? This will make it much easier for you to stick at it, for you to continue. Don't forget, listen to rule three a number of times. Practice makes the perfect. See you tomorrow for Rule 4. This one is just as important.